Okay, everybody, it's class time. Okay, so this is what I wanted to lead with. Let's see if you could read that. People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. And that's Maya Angelou. You may have heard that quote by the late, great Maya Angelou. And I wanted that quote to lead us into our lesson, okay? So it says we're gonna have a math lesson here. You didn't think I was gonna teach you math, did you? Oh, no. <laughs> now stay around, stay around. Don't click off because I say it's a math lesson, okay? We are gonna do this really cool thing that I came up with. That is the quote we're gonna lean in today, okay? And how it started was because, as you know, I work with a lot of actors and um, non-actors, right? I meet a lot of different people, um, lots of different walks of life, um, you know, in front of the camera, behind the camera, um, you know, on stage. Like, there's just a lot of people, right, that I am so blessed to interact with. I worked with someone, and I'm gonna keep it very general. <laughs> I worked with someone some time ago, and this someone was adorable. He, she, they um, were adorable. And I just remember my takeaway. I was like, oh, I was expecting something different because they were so freaking darn cute. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then when I had an exchange with them, I was kind of like, oh, like it left me kind of like, hmm, oh, honey, like honey. And what I was thinking was like, you know, we have an opportunity to leave a good lasting impression on others, right? Like that's what we want. As actors, right? We want to be memorable, right? So that is what we want. Let's see how we do this. We want the M. We want to be memorable, right? In our acting profession, we want actors, directors, casting directors, um, you know, producers to remember us. We want to be memorable. How do we achieve being memorable? Right? And I've been thinking about this, and I was thinking about that when I worked with that um, youngling that day. And I was like, wow, if only they had, well, now I am coining as E3 plus U equals, okay? So no, this is not a math lesson. This, wait for it, is a life lesson, okay? E3 plus U equals M. We want to be memorable, right? And not just as an actor, but like when we're meeting new people, right? So like maybe it's potential new friends or potential new clients, or maybe it's, um, you know, like just if you're networking for a new opportunity, we want to be memorable. And the three things I found that would lead to someone being memorable are energy. Can you see that? There's like a layer. Energy, right? And this isn't like, ah, energy. That's not what I'm talking about. But what I thought this youngling could have worked on was a little bit of something that showed that she had energy behind the eyes. Like she looked at me like this, or they looked at me like this, because it could be either, right? They looked at me like this, like, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and it totally weirded me out. I was like, why are they looking at me like this? Like, why are they staring at me? And it was just like a deadpan. And I was like, this is really weird. I was oddly taken aback by the fact that there was no energy behind the eyes. And I was like, oh, wow, you, baby doll, you need a little energy in your eyes. Just a little, like, I'm with you. I'm listening. I'm processing. And that's what I mean by energy. Just a little something behind the eyes that says, I'm present, okay? And I do want to preface this by saying that I'm not trying to change anybody, right? I'm not trying to tell you how to be. You do you. But what I am sharing are things that I learned in years of acting classes and, and just life that have been helpful to me in interactions with others, right? Because everyone we come across is an opportunity, an opportunity to be more, do more, serve more with them or with each other. And I think it's so important that we have this um, standard right? Or this process or this understanding of what can make you have a better 
exchange with someone. And I think energy, again, that little like, is so key and so underrated, right? It's not talked about a lot. You hear like, ah, that's not what I'm saying. It's just that little bit of something in your eyes that says, go on, I'm listening. I think that's really important. And that's the first E. Next one is effort right? We have to show effort, like initiate the um, inclination to want to be engaging with someone, right? Effort, engaging. You have to like put in like the intention that you want to have a good communicative exchange, right? So energy and effort, um, those are two big ones. And then the last E stands for... <laughs> enthusiasm have a little joy have a little bit of like oh pep in your step and do you see how they all kind of play into one another all three i think and there's more um are just like foundational like the baseline of what you want to have in order to leave a more lasting impression right? You want to be a little bit more engaged, a little bit more enthusiastic, have a little bit of energy behind the eyes. And you know what? It takes practice, y'all. This isn't something that, you know, happens overnight, but you have to have the consciousness around it, right? If you didn't know that you could put a little bit of energy behind your eyes and like, oh, if you didn't know that, why would you, right? If you're not an actor, perhaps, or perhaps you haven't heard it, like you just assume like, oh, this is the way it's supposed to be. Oh, no, just add a little bit of, and then right here. Oh, interesting. I have so many colors I'm playing with. Okay, so now you're gonna have E3, right? Plus you. You are the special ingredient. There's only one you, right? We know this, only one you. You are uniquely you. So this is you, but it also means, I say a little oomph. See that? <laughs> Add a little oomph to it. And this isn't um, an, an, a tactic to like be fake or to manufacture um, interest in somebody else. On the contrary, this is a way to be real because when you have an authentic exchange with somebody and you are memorable, guess what? You can come back and from there, right? I think oftentimes we don't have confidence because we don't understand how important it is to give others what they need in order to reciprocate it. So if you give them energy, effort, enthusiasm, they will reciprocate it, right? And then you can be remembered, right? So what did Maya Angelou say? People will forget what you say. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And this is how you can make others feel good, not only about meeting you, but about themselves, because they now see a light. They now see the brightness in you. I have been thinking about this a lot. At first I started with E2, and then I was like, no, there's gotta be an E3. And that, you know me, I could have come up with E10, <laughs> but that wouldn't have been like memorable. E to the third power. There's something about threes, right? E to the third power plus you makes you memorable and this is a key now want to be pm <laughs> the p is really important too what does p stand for it means positively remembered right we don't want negative interpretations or impressions out there of us we want to be remembered positively right so it is so important that we do these things in a positive light. Hence, you will be memorable. And I think for you, who all you who want to be actors, like I think this is a great formula to keep in your mind. And if you're wanting to meet new friends, my arm hurts. <laughs> if you want to meet new friends and new people, it's like what a quick little way to be like, oh, P3, a little energy, a little enthusiasm. Let me put effort into this conversation and a little me, a little you in the mix, right? So I hope this is helpful visually <laughs> when you're out there and you're like oh i want to meet this person but i'm shy oh i want to say hello but i don't have nothing to say sometimes all you need to lead with is your energy a 
little effort and enthusiasm and let the conversation go in the direction it's going to go in. And it's natural and it's organic and it's authentic and it's not fake or manufactured. And I think that is so cool. <laughs> So I hope that helps somebody. Put it in the comments if that was kind of something that was helpful to you. If you're okay with me using a board <laughs> to demonstrate. I really wanted to do this. I had it in my heart today to really, um, you know, share this today. And I wish you could see the oomph. The oomph needs to be brighter. It can't be that green. It has to be. <laughs> so so cool when we think about um, the impression we make on others and it's not to please others that's not what I'm saying it's not to people please it's not to um, you know uh, butter people up or because it's none of those things it's so that sometimes we need a little just like reframe on what it's like to like go up to someone and sometimes for me I feel like if I have a process or if I have something, an example in my head or something to fall back on, like something that like keeps my mind kind of like, you know, present and engaged, it's so much easier than being like, hi, do you see the difference? It's like, and then like, do the same thing with your handshakes. Oh, I'm so glad I remember this. Do the same thing with your handshakes. Put energy into your handshake. If you're going to meet someone, if you're going into an interview or university graduating younglings, right? When you go into an interview, have energy in your handshake. Don't do one of these. What does that say about you? Your potential future employer thinks you don't have energy for your job. They think that you're not enthusiastic about working there. They think you're not gonna put effort into what you are saying you're gonna bring to the table. Do you see how this is truly for life? <laughs> Do you see how it's like it trickles down on so many different areas, right? So it's the handshake. It's the hug. When you hug someone, hug them with intention and effort and energy and enthusiasm. Don't be like, what the heck is that? Don't hug me if you're going to hug me like that. Like, I want to feel the hug. I want to feel the handshake. I want to feel the energy. I want that with everybody, but not everybody does it. I tell you that wholeheartedly, 2,000 million percent. I know for a fact that a lot of people I meet, I'm just saying truth, and I'm not calling anybody out, but it's just facts, okay? They don't bring forth that energy that radiates and bounces off of them. And it's not just on camera, all right, y'all? Like I said, interview, new friends, a potential client, wherever you are on the spectrum of life, right? This is, I think, the underbelly of having a cool exchange with someone new. And I think um, us younglings, you younglings, um, it's sometimes a confidence. Not issue, it's not an issue, but a confidence um, breakdown. If you leave meeting someone new and you're like, but if you just add a little pep, just a little pep, and all that means is I go, Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. There's all these different things you can play with. And yes, use a mirror. Y'all, as actors, we have to look in the mirror a lot to see sometimes what we are expressing, not expressing, sometimes to read our lines. Some teachers tell you not to, some teachers tell you you have to, whatever works for you as an actor and as a person, either or both, it doesn't matter, right? What is acting? Acting is reflecting life back to the viewer, right? So it's like, you know, what is it that we want to convey more authentically so that you, the viewer, see it as real and lifelike, right? And I think this goes, this plays also into some other area that I, I also want to um, speak to. And I think it's also not just when you meet someone in human form, right? But it's also when you meet someone socially, even like social media, right? So I think it's really important that we remember that social media, even though it's um, behind a keyboard, right? And, and you're behind a screen, you're still making a human contact right? And you want people to remember you favorably, right? You don't want to like overstep, right? Any boundaries or any unspoken rules of social media. I think it's so important to realize that social media, like your profile is your home, right? Your profile is your house. And you have to understand how to respect not only your home, 
but others home, right? So you wouldn't go up to um, someone's home, right? And walk into their house and kick off your shoes and put your feet up on the furniture and, um, you know, kick it and be there all day, like all day running out your welcome, right? You wouldn't do that in someone's house, right? Similarly, social media is similar, right? So for your DMs, for example, right? You can't just go into someone's DM and like run ragged in there, right? And I think there's like a big um, misinterpretation about social media. We think that because we have access to literally everyone in the world, like you could literally DM, I don't know if he'll respond, but you could literally DM The Rock. Doesn't mean that you disrespect his DMs, right? So I'm saying this because it's come to my attention that, you know, some younglings are perhaps crossing that boundary. So just be mindful of that, right? Like, you know, if you write really long messages, like it might not be so easy for someone to respond, right? It's like, it's hard to respond to long messages and it's hard to respond to too many frequent messages, right? And I'm saying this because it's, it's just um, common courtesy. And we just want to have that common courtesy in someone else's home. So I'm using that analogy because I know y'all are smart and y'all um, can kind of, you know, read the um, the undertones of what I'm trying to say, right? And I think it's important and boundaries are so important for our mental health, for our self-care, for um, respecting others. And so that's why I wanted to bring that up because I thought it tied up so nicely with today's quote. And I'll repeat. People will forget what you say, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget the way you made them feel. And you want people to feel good about you on social media as well, right? It's so important that the impression we leave is a good, positive, lasting impression, a favorable one that people want to continue to engage with in life and on social. So Y'all are amazing. I miss you already. I don't want to get off here, but we got to go take care of some stuff. And believe me, I'd rather be here with you than with the tax lady. <laughs> I love you. Happy Friday. <laughs> so if you liked this video, go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel. So keep watching.